What's going on my little nestlings, my name is Eagle Eye, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a little bit better performance out of your Skyrim. So um, before we do anything, I just want to let you guys know that my computer is not the greatest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to run, I'm going to run DX Diagnosis on my computer, which is going to tell you guys sort of what my computer is running at. And uh, it'll let you know that I don't have the you know best, the fastest computer. So I've got an AMD Phenom uh, Quad Core 925. It's like I said, a quad core, it's 2.8 gigahertz. I've got four gigs of RAM, and my video card is a NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GTX Plus. It's a fairly old graphics card, but it works out really nice. Okay, so you guys can see this. Uh, this is my setup, and this is basically telling you guys that you don't need a super, super, super fast computer to be able to run Skyrim um, pretty much maxed out. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my documents, my game, Skyrim, and then go to Skyrim Press. Okay? Now I'm going to keep this right here because I'm pretty sure that once I open it, open Skyrim, and actually look at uh, the preferences, that it'll, it'll reset the this thing that I'm about to have to do. But alright. So I'm going to open up Skyrim. And... You're going to go into your options, and you'll see that I've got basically everything right now is maxed out. Everything is as high as it can go, uh, with the exception of shadow detail. Now, the reason why I've got shadow detail on low is because, for whatever reason, shadows kill performance in Skyrim. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to max everything out. As long as you've got a computer that can keep up with mine, basically, you should be able to do this and have little to no lag. Okay, so... What you want to do is you want to make everything just click on ultra it's going to max everything out for you and then you're going to want to go to your shadow detail and make sure that that's on low okay uh you can max out everything else view distance um, i'm not sure if this is for better performance or worse performance but i've got it clicked anyways okay so i've got everything in skyrim max out except for shadows now what you want to do is you want to go into your skyrim preferences and there is a display right here your eye blur deferred shadow mask should be zero. Your interior shadow distance should be zero. And your shadow distance here should be zero. I figured it would change it. So we're going to put that at zero. And I'm going to go ahead and save my preferences. And this, what this is going to do is it's going to turn shadows off, basically. Um, it doesn't make your game look any better or any worse. But if you can't run shadows on high and get you know a smooth game, I suggest just going ahead and turning them off because shadows on low on Skyrim look really, really, really bad. Uh, it looks really jagged and it's just not very good looking. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here and I will see you guys actually on Skyrim. Alright, so I'll see you guys there. Peace. Alright guys, so here we are on Skyrim and... Right away, you'll notice that um, I actually do not have any shadows. So let's actually the easier way to tell is if you go downstairs, you can look, and you'll notice this area here doesn't have shadows coming off from the fire. Also, if I go and I look away from the door, there are no shadows on the door. So this is kind of what your game should look like without shadows. It still looks amazing, and actually we're gonna go outside into White Run right now, and actually. Inside of Breeze Home, I get a smooth 60 FPS even when I'm recording. So right now, I'm a, about 40 to 45 FPS just kind of walking around. And uh, this is also when I'm recording, guys. So if, uh, if you were getting any sort of stutters, doing this little tweak should help your performance out a little bit. Even if, you're, um, even if your game can't run Skyrim, or if maybe if your computer's not as good as mine, if you do this little tweak, it should give you some better performance. Also, the other thing that you can do is go and download the beta patch, uh, 1.4. Right. What you do is you go into uh, you go into Steam, you click Steam in the top left, you go into Settings, and you opt into the Skyrim beta, and it will allow you to download the newest patch for Skyrim, which is actually uh, supposed to help optimize Skyrim a little bit more for PC. And I've got to say, it does a really good job. I noticed a huge performance increase. So one of the areas you can go to check performance in Skyrim is this area right here that I'm standing at. What you generally want to do is you want to stare down at this tree. And I'm not sure if it's just because there's a lot of stuff that it has to process. But it will it will drop your performance if you stand right here and look at this exact um, location. But it's a good indication of how well you can run it. So 
to uh, to give you guys a little idea, I'm running this game right now, recording, uh, and I'm recording it as high as it can go. I'm getting 28 frames a second right now, um, and this is while recording. So before I did this I and I tweak, and before I downloaded this beta patch, I was running this game without recording at 27 frames a second, looking at this exact area. So now when I look at that area, I get about 47 or something like that and then everywhere else I basically get a smooth 60 FPS so I get little to no drop in FPS anywhere I go in the game and it's amazing so like I said this I and I, that little I and I tweak should help you guys out it doesn't make the game you know you might notice that you don't see shadows but you know it doesn't look bad it it's a really really simple little tweak that doesn't really you know have much of an impact on your performance are much of an impact on the way the game looks. Personally, I would rather have no shadows than the blocky, jagged little uh, ones that they've got that when you turn it down on low. Because those to me are just an eyesore. And this, you know, it makes it look nice. So, one of the other things I want to show you guys before I cut this video off is how to get under the Skyforge. I'm sure a lot of you know about this already, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hop up onto this barrel right here. And we're going to aim for this little corner right here. And we're just going to jump and fail again. Come on. Come on, you stupid Argonian. All right. All right. God damn it. On, my, on the other video that I did, this is actually my second take. I got up there in the first shot. But unfortunately, I realized that I was not recording my microphone audio. So I was just basically running around doing nothing. God damn it. Son of a bitch, are you kidding me? I might actually have to edit this. Alright, there we go. Okay, so when you hop up here, you should get to this little area right here where you're actually, like, on it. So once you do that, you just basically walk across, and you're going to fall out. Cool, huh? Now, I don't know what's going to happen to your game if you start running over there, because I've never tried it, but I wouldn't suggest it, because I don't know if the world over there is actually rendered so you might end up falling down through the uh, through the world and if you do that I'm not sure if you'd be able to get back up so I'm just gonna kinda hug the wall here a little bit and the area that you're aiming for is right past this little guard tower place and I'm getting some FPS drops right now alright there we go but now that I can actually record Skyrim gameplay and play at the same time, you guys might actually see some Skyrim videos from me because I do really like this game. Okie dokie. So this area that you're aiming for is right here. You'll notice there's a big, big gap right here. So you're just going to want to walk up this, walk up here, and I just walk straight through this wall. Okay? And there's this little chest chest right here. Now this chest is actually uh, Yorlin Greyman's inventory. So when you search it, you'll have all of this stuff that's in here. Uh, I've already taken everything of value from this. I actually did it in my last video. I took everything of value. So um, yeah, guys. So that's how you want to get under the Skyforge. You'll notice this is actually the Skyforge, and there's. There's Jorland, I can't talk to him, but it's whatever. And to get out of it, you just want to go to map and reload Whiterun. Nothing to it, guys. So hopefully that little I and I tweak helps you guys out with your performance. I know I've sold it to a few of my friends and it's helped them out. So, you know, if you're having any problems with, with Skyrim and you want to maybe try to help your performance out a little bit, kill those shadows, guys, because for whatever reason that shits on your performance on PCs and I'm not sure why I would not think that shadows would be that intensive but apparently it is especially in Skyrim so I hope this helps you out guys and I thought that was a body laying there for a second but I hope this helps you out and if that guy says something else about death I swear to god I'm gonna shoot him in his face you wanna say something I swear to god say something I will light your little bitch ass on fire Every time I walk by this John Battleborn fuck, he wants to tell me something about what the problem with Skyrim is everybody's afraid of death. And every time he does that, I just want to shoot him in his fucking face and just end him. 
Go on, say something. I dare you to say something. You too. You too, you little bitch. I don't give a f You walk away. What? That's right. Little bitch. Say something to me. Say something to me, you little goateed faggot looking motherfucker. Come on. Say something. Say something. I know you want to. I know you want to. Tell me what's wrong with Skyrim. Tell me what's wrong with Skyrim. I want you to say something. I really want you to say something. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. <sighs> Bitch. Now run. Now run. Run like hell. Run, you Argonian bastard. No. Run. Alright, let's see. Where are we at? Fail. I fail. See if I can juke. Can I juke? Ooh, ah. You know what? Screw this. I'm getting out of the map. I'm gonna let you guys just sit here and watch me. What's up? What are they gonna do now? I actually wonder what that is gonna if that's gonna screw my game up at all. Re entering Skyrim like that. Whoa, that's weird. So now we know what happens when you do that. Alright, so I'm not a mage by any sense of the word. Um, oh, they're angry. They're very, very, very angry. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up here. Get off me, son. Ah, run, run. There's a fox. I wonder if I can run them into a giant troll camp. Are they not chasing me? Seriously? They just gave up just like that. I shot a guy in the face and they're like, oh, he ran two, blah, 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 10 feet outside the city limits. Nothing we can do. They're losing visibility of me, which is good, so maybe I can get a sneak attack. Nope, I'm detected. Wah. 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 Mercy. I don't think so. Oh, I fail with the arrows. I fail so hard. I fail so hard. Get off me, son. I fail. God damn it. Oh, lag, 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 lag. Come on, come on, stand still. Why am I lagging so bad? No. Foos road dot. No, Foos. That's right. Now run. Run, run, Dova King. Run, you little bastard. All right, guys. So that's gonna be the end of this video. As I as I run away. Oh, stop lagging! Stop lagging! God damn you! So yeah, that'll be the end of this video. Mother fucking lag. Wow. Okay, so we're going to go right here. Oh, that's another thing. For whatever reason, when I go into third person, stop right there. Smart man. Now, come along with us. Oh, really? Really? So that's that's how it's gonna be. Seriously? Oh, I've got another thing I can load. <laughs> But yeah, guys, so that's uh, that's sort of how you get your uh, Skyrim looking a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you guys out. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.